Oi, elites, how you doing? It's me, your boy. Welcome back to the guide. So, last episode, we built this gigantic map. Today, I figured we would start by, by heading over to our storage building and, I, I guess, checking out the storage building, you know, grabbing stuff out of the storage, all of that kind of stuff. Okay, no, I mean, yes, I, I like the vibe of the world, but this isn't the world. This is, well, we'll say a big shout out to you if you remember this world. So I was flying around in this world, just checking out things, and then I saw this temple right here, the gigantic pyramid. I, I built this thing, like, a long time ago. Uh, this pyramid was actually a gigantic villager village, actually. Like, inside of this thing, it's kind of crazy. There's, like, a bunch of villagers, they all had professional this was when all of this stuff was new and it was a really fun build now, I'm not gonna say I didn't really like how this thing turned out But to be honest, I didn't really like how this thing turned out. It wasn't exactly what I envisioned I mean, I liked it at the time. It's cool, but nowadays I uh, 1000% could definitely do better and and check it out. It, it's kind of jungly, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's kind of what I was going for Mm-hmm Technically speaking, it would be true to say that we live in a jungle, and uh, even more technically speaking, it would be true to say that we've been living in a jungle for like a long time, in 91 episodes. So I went over to that old world, I was trying to get some inspiration for whatever I was going to do in this video, and, and then I saw the pyramid, the, the gigantic pyramid, and instantly it hit me. I, I don't know why, to be honest, but I kind of think, I kind of have the urge, I kind of have the feeling, we need like a gigantic pyramid in, the, in this world, like, like something massive, something gigantic, I mean, 90 episodes, it's crazy, and, I mean, the builds are big, don't get me wrong, but it, it could be bigger, it could always, uh, always be bigger. Let's start by laying out the goal, the plan, uh, the plan, the goal, a gigantic temple, same size as the last one, maybe even a little bit bigger, definitely, absolutely even better. Yes, I have a purpose for the temple, definitely, don't worry about it. I 100% know exactly what I'm doing with this temple. It's not just going to be a temple. Y yeah. Before we can build anything, though, we have to figure out what we're building and where we're building it. Today's episode is simple. Planning, preparing for gigantic builds. Step one, easy, easy, inspiration. So first, you have to figure out what you exactly want to build. The inspiration for me today comes from that other world, also, right here, Google Images, uh, check this thing out. This thing is absurd, like, what is this thing even for? It, and it looks sweet. But I saw it in here somewhere, I don't know where it went, it's somewhere, but it was basically, uh, this one. Like, like, this one right here, with a sweet thing out front. Like, look at that, like, this is so cool. This, I think, is basically going to be the goal. Uh, kind of, it's like a combination of this thing and this thing. This gigantic, ancient Aztec temple in the jungle, next to everything that we built, that's gonna be sweet. All right, so step one, pretty easy. Figure out what you're trying to build. Step number two, location. So, uh, now we're gonna need to find a spot for this build, and I actually have the spot in mind. We have all of these builds over here, all of this stuff over here, it's cool. Uh, this over here, of course, of course, and then this gigantic area over here. I mean, we have two things, but uh, for the most part, we have absolutely nothing, and uh, the benefit of building a gigantic temple, like right over here, uh, well, we're gonna be able to see it from where we usually are, which is like over here by the storage building, where we build all of the other builds. Imagine this, uh, right here, we're walking out of the building, and then over there, there's like a gigantic temple into the air. Oh, that will be so sweet, so I think that's gonna be the spot over there. We'll take down some of those trees, and basically, put this big temple, like, right behind the villager breeder, which is gonna be super simple. All we need to do, find the villager breeder, check, that's right there, and then basically start taking down the forest, like, right in this area. Now, uh, dimensions. I am thinking that this build is going to be 64 by 64 at least. The old pyramid, the one that we checked out earlier, that was 64 by 64. So, uh, right here we have 815, uh, and then 1674. Probably should write that out. Okay, so do the math, and we have these numbers. 751, 73, 1738. So, I guess what we probably want to do first is go and find those corner spots and mark them. I, I guess we'll mark them with iron blocks because that's what I have. 1738 is going to be pretty far down this way, all the way by this tree. Yeah, we're going to have to clear out, like, a lot of wood. We're going to get so much of this stuff. So, right there, approximately, that's good. It might sound kind of crazy, but I think this thing is probably going to end up being uh, a little bit bigger than 64 by 64, but 64 by 64 is a good starting point. If we can at least mark this out and get a good chunk of this area cleared out, then we'd be in a really good spot so 750 is going to be like all the way down over here uh, this is like even with the the panda island at this point like i mean it's somewhere i think that actually might even be it 
Yeah, this is going to be absolutely massive. 750 is like right over here. So uh, that means all of these trees in, in this general area, probably should have made these uh, corner spots a little taller, but all of these trees in here, like from that bit all the way over, all, all of this, it all has to go away. So uh, mega project step number two. Right? After you know where you're building, figure out where you're going to build it and actually make room for the thing. In my case, that means deforesting. Lots and lots of deforesting. I think what I'm gonna do is put a crafting table down over here and then probably like a bunch of chests and what I'll do is I'll put basically everything that I get from chopping down those forests, deforesting this whole area over here inside of these chests and then when I'm done, I'll show you all of the chests and you'll be amazed and if, if you love jungle wood, probably jealous, but at the least amazed. That's what I'm shooting for. And yeah, I actually am going to be like a little OCD here when I'm taking this out. Vines. There are so many vines here and I'm probably going to want to use a bunch of vines in this project and actually I, I still don't have a vine farm. So the jungle is basically my vine farm and I need to get as many of these vines as possible. I've tried. I mean, like, seriously, I've tried. I've been at this for, like, a long time. Here's what we have. We have a perimeter cleared out. Just went back over to the storage building real quick. But, yeah, I tried. I, I mean, what could go wrong, right? Like, what could really go wrong here? Let's go ahead and, and just maybe speed this up a little bit. I don't like to do this. I feel, like, really bad. The, the trees deserve at least a little bit better. But it's going so slow. I hope this is a good perimeter. Hopefully, we're gonna have to keep our eyes on it for sure, and I've missed uh, some pieces of trees, yeah, but this isn't even all of the clearing that we have to do. It is taking so long. It's a really, really big project, so I figured, I, I mean, I figured, maybe, <laughs> maybe the fire would be able to help me out, like, at least a little bit. So, yeah, like I said, this isn't even the only bit of clearing that we have to do. After this forest disappears here a whole lot faster now, uh, there's there's a hill. It's a gigantic hill. Like, like it's low over here. It slopes up. There's actually a pretty sizable cliff somewhere in there, like back over there behind all of those trees. Uh, there, there's holes all over the place. The ground it needs to be flattened out. But... Before we flatten everything out, before we get too far into this, it definitely would be a good idea to get an idea as to what we're actually trying to build here. When you're working on a gigantic build, it's definitely a good idea to make a new world in creative mode and play around with ideas. So that's exactly what we're going to do. All right, so here we go. Big flat world, the temple. The blocks that I'm thinking about using here, stone, cobblestone. If we use stone and cobblestone, of course, we're going to have lots of options when it comes to block variants. We'll have staircases and slabs for every single block in this build. Other blocks that could work here pretty nicely, andesite and stone bricks. The stone bricks are going to be pretty cheap. The andesite, depending on how lucky we get with finding this stuff, could be a little bit more expensive, but still should be pretty cheap. But uh, the build, here's kind of what I'm thinking. So I was thinking we start with like a really temple feel. So we have this pillar that goes up, an arch uh, that goes over, and then, and then another pillar, and then staircases up here. Up on top of the build, I was thinking maybe grass up here. Uh, maybe we go like four in, maybe. I'm not too sure, just kind of a guess right now. And up here, we'll do like slabs, build this up a little bit. We won't be perfect in here. Like we're talking a lot of randomization. The cobblestone is going to help make this thing feel a whole lot older. And oh, guess what? It's beautiful, and I have so many vines. I'll show you in a second, but mossy cobblestone too. We could mix a little bit of this stuff in here for sure. The stone is gonna look pretty nice in here too, I think. So what we just built is going to be the base of the temple, I think. It's gonna make the build a whole lot bigger, but that's a good thing. That's what we're going for here. So basically, the temple sits up on top of this platform that we're setting up to make things look even more cool. I'm thinking water right there. Definitely not pouring out though. That's terrible, so... Uh, hold on, I have to fix this. I'm thinking we'll have like a solid wall behind the water right there so we can't see back. And then in the front, we'll have that open. The ground will be like this. We'll dig a trench right there so the water flows down. That'll be cool. And that'll repeat over and over and over and over and over again, as big as we need. Now, to, to make this thing even more interesting, I'm thinking in between each section, we could come up maybe with, with pillars here, kind of just winging it. I, I think that could be cool. It's going to be a lot of gray, but that's okay. We'll come in with like lots of plants around the thing to make it look a little bit better. But yeah, I, I think this section repeated over and over and over again. So what do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I, okay, okay. So a section of seven. 
And I'm thinking the temple is going to be built out of solid blocks that are like two by two, like that. And it's going to be 64 blocks long. But remember, 64 blocks long up on top of this thing. So let's say this were the corner. This would be like one, two, and then three, four would be right here. And all the way down. And all the way down that way. All the way down all of the other ways. And then we'll go up. We'll basically staircase up all the way. The only question here is, do I staircase like that? I, I feel like I probably should. If it's a two by two block, it would staircase up like that, which would make the most sense. But these two by two blocks won't be perfect. What I'm thinking is we'll have like a randomization in here. So like stone and cobblestone all over the place. And then maybe if we want to make these blocks look even better, we could come in here with like slabs too. So like bits are falling apart. Uh, and then maybe like stone piling out too, like a little bit. So it's like really randomized, really old looking, really rough, really not good, but actually great. <laughs> if that makes sense. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So if we end up setting this platform up with like four blocks of space in between the actual walls and, and the temple itself, we'll have like a ton of room for like plants and decoration. I was thinking maybe we could even come in here with like stone bricks or something and build some kind of cool like arch pattern kind of going in front of this thing, almost like the ocean monument. I don't know. I On a larger scale, this wouldn't look bad, but maybe like something cool like that, like looping in here. And then of course, in the center, staircase, like gigantic staircase going up like this all the way up to the top and then i'm thinking once we get to like a 16 by 16 block area at the top we build some sort of room i'm not too sure exactly what i'm going to do with the room uh but that's okay i think we can figure it out once we get the build in uh, for the most part though that's basically going to be the build back in our world now check out what i have lots of wood uh, a ton of it and then over here tons and tons of leaves so many vines i went overkill with the vines a little bit of jungle leaves random things in here that's basically it though that's everything that i got from harvesting basically the outer rim which is a couple blocks wide all the way around this thing i tried to give it like a little bit of space i didn't really measure anything i just kind of eyeballed it and said hey yeah that looks pretty good i think these grass plants should probably come out though i think the fire can maybe jump across uh, on there i definitely don't want to burn down the surrounding i want all of these trees to stay also, I was kind of shocked to find bamboo growing in here. Like, I didn't even realize the bamboo was here. I kind of forget how we found the bamboo. I think we probably found it in, like, a shipwreck, maybe? Or maybe it was... No, maybe it was just in the jungle. I don't know. Uh, either way, though, bamboo has been naturally growing in here the whole time, which I guess makes sense. That's part of the jungle, but I just didn't know about it. I was kind of surprised. So, anyways, check this out. The jungle is all the way back to here. We have this big hill right here that we're going to have to take out, and then... Big drop that I almost fell down, and cobblestone pillar. This cobblestone pillar, I assume mark something like maybe this cave or, or something i was probably caving a long time ago and, and marked it i don't know i couldn't really find a staircase over here though so that's kind of the weird thing but cobblestone pillar oh yeah oh yeah that's more like it that's more like it that's gonna clear out the jungle a whole lot faster though we're gonna need more fire we're also going to need a beacon so now that we figured out what we're going to create uh we're gonna need a lot of flat land like a lot a lot a lot of flat land uh, a lot of this land that i'm going to have to dig through is going to be stone we have a beacon so obviously i'm going to insta mine the stone i'm thinking that i'll mine it all or most of it with my so touch pickaxe which actually is a netherite but i'll be able to insta mine it still which is fine and then maybe i come back with the netherite pickaxe too and get some cobblestone in here too the nice thing about stone though is i can pick it up and then place it back down and then if I decide that it should be cobblestone, I can mine it with the Vortune 3 pickaxe, it turns to cobblestone, then I can place it back. Super simple. Now, to get all of the stone, I figured we would start by clearing out the land. Like, I take out the hill, I see how much stone I have. If there's more stone that I need, I figured, because there seems to be a gigantic unexplored cave system under here, I could jump like right under the ground, like a couple blocks under the ground, past all of the dirt, and then just start digging and basically hollow out a gigantic area. It would be a big dark space, so I'd have to light it up, but at the same time, I would get like a ton of stone from it, which would be good. Now, I, I don't exactly like to do this, but this beacon right here is going to have to come with me. We only have one beacon in this world, in the entire world, and that's that beacon right there. So for now, we have to move the iron beacon over to the build site. It will be worth it, and it will eventually go back in there. Oh no, did I ruin everything? Wait, how is there dirt in there? The endermen are ruining everything beacon right there okay and then right here haste two that's gonna activate in a second now i need more fire because this forest is not burning down which is just not good this was not the plan 
Fire, come on, do your part. Uh, but my my safety border definitely worked. The, the, there's no fire out here. Nothing burned down over there, so that's perfect. It worked. Once you figured out what you're going to build and where you're going to build it, and you started clearing out the area that you're going to build whatever you're building in, you need the blocks. So, step number three, the blocks. I'm thinking that this layer, this height right here, is probably going to be pretty good. Y69, that's pretty nice. We'll, we'll clear everything out down to Y69, in some spots i'm gonna have to dig like a lot but then in other spots like over here and a lot over there i won't have to dig as much also to be honest because we're probably going to be looking at this thing a lot more from far away and looking at the temple i'm actually not going to worry about the land making sense too much so if it's like a big flat wall it's a big flat wall and, and that's fine as long as we have space for the build we can actually get it in i'm cool with that so it's gonna be a lot of work but the nice thing here is the whole build for the most part is basically figured out like all i have to do is prepare the land get the materials and then build the build it's a lot of work again can't understate that but it's all going to be actually pretty straightforward because i know exactly what i'm doing from this point on there is basically almost zero guesswork involved it's all really really straightforward However, at the same time, it's not all exactly straightforward. There is one big problem, uh, tool durability. Eventually, my tools, like the shovel right now, are going to run low on durability. And when that happens, I I'm gonna have to take a break. But thankfully, thankfully, right now we're set up and in a pretty good spot. So check this out, brand new diamond shovel, enchanting table right here, efficiency three, I is not the best, so grindstone. We don't tolerate that. No, 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 no. So we try it again right here. Enchanting table, efficiency four. I like that. On breaking three, that's beautiful. Check this out. Second diamond shovel right here. Enchanting table still, efficiency three. No way. We're just going to go ahead and roll that over, not even taking the chance. Maybe this time, silk touch. Okay, okay. I mean, this one is silk touch, though. So you know what? You know what? No. I'm basically looking for fortune three. If I could get fortune three instead of silk touch this time, that would be amazing. I already have a good silk touch shovel. I already have the best silk touch shovel. I need a fortune three shovel, please. I will stand here all day and continue this until, oh, so close, so close. I'll continue this until I get a fortune three shovel. All I need is one shovel, come on. I never enchant anymore. This is probably why. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Any minute here, any minute here, any minute here, any minute here. There we go. It's a start. Okay, we're gonna do one more shovel. No big deal. One more shovel for, of course, efficiency five. So now check this out. Combine these two. It's gonna be expensive, but efficiency five on breaking three. All right, check. Now we go ahead and add that to it. That's gonna be expensive, efficiency five, unbreaking three, fortune three, that's good. Now, check this out right here. Mending on there too is going to be very cheap. That's perfect. A diamond shovel, number two, just needs a better name. But number two, oh, this one doesn't even have efficiency five. I'm so sorry, Axel Shovel. This is, or will be, the highest peak. It's all the way up at Y88, by the way. Uh-huh, uh, so far so good. Eventually, however, it would definitely become cost inefficient to continue to make new diamond shovels. So, what I probably should do every once in a while is come over to the gold farm get the piglins a little bit angry, stand in the center, and fix all of my tools up. So currently, now, I have two pickaxes, haven't used this one quite yet, two shovels, one tree axe. Uh, the trees, thankfully, are completely gone, so I don't have to worry about the tree axes, but the shovels and the pickaxes, eh, they definitely, absolutely need some help. Then finally, after hanging out at the piglin farm for a little while, it will be back to work for me. Hopefully, one trip over there is going to be enough. Not 100% sure, but hopefully.
Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. I think I found the biggest patrol in the world. Like, look at this. What are these fools even doing? Come on, come on, come on. I think there's a cow over here, so I'm not really concerned about it. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, that's the first time with that effect. Definitely should check out raids soon, but today, no, 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 it's assemble time. Come on, come on, go away. Go away, don't, don't you see that I'm doing something here. Come on, come on. And check this out. Oh, no. This is not good. We can't go over to the base. Where, where did he go? Where did he go? No, 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 no. There was a cow over here a little bit ago. Oh, this is bad. Okay, well, you know what? That cow disappeared because, of course, it did. But this cow, this cow didn't disappear. So we can get rid of that effect and get back to work. Progress update. It's been a long time, but I've made a lot of progress. Check this out. This area is like almost done. I pushed the hill and, and the jungle back even more over there just to make sure I have enough room. But yeah, we're getting so close now. This right here is what I'm looking at over there. That's all materials that I've gotten so far. I'm picking up basically everything. It's getting crazy. And I keep seeing a bunch of oscillates too. Uh, wow. Yeah, it, it's safe to say I did not realize how long this project would take. I, I mean, for reference, when I started this project, the, the sun was up, like like in real life. And, and now, the sun is definitely, absolutely not up. Yeah, it's been taking like a really, really long time. But on the bright sides of things, we have every single thing that we need now to make this gigantic temple in the next episode so check this out this is everything that we have here uh, actually hold on want to put everything away uh okay so check this out this chest this chest is cobblestone uh this and this is smooth stone this 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 is dirt and grass uh over here all of these random things i probably won't need those but they're there uh back here those uh plants and then right here but the exciting thing we now actually have over a stack of wheat seeds this is crazy from this whole project over a stack uh, who could have guessed yeah so this area is absolutely massive and in the next episode we're gonna put something even more massive than this gigantic flat cleared out area and it is gonna be really sweet and also a uh, really quick check this out i marked a few different vantage points out uh one is right here so that's what we see now not too much but definitely a hole missing in the jungle and then right over here against this one uh, you can definitely see the bottom of the ground there. Next episode, yo, oh, I, I can't wait. I'm, I'm so excited for this project. The Nether Hub wall, can you remember? Crying Obsidian. Yeah, definitely, the Nether Hub. We haven't finished the Nether Hub. We need to go back into the Nether and use the bartering machine. And, uh, thankfully, now, after my gold farm trip, only had to make that one, uh, I have a lot more gold, actually. So, yes, we have to go back into the Nether, run that machine. And then there are a few other random things that I need to get done around the base, like in the overworld, before the world tour. So, I haven't forgot about it. Thank you, though. We'll probably head back into the Nether Hub, finish that up pretty soon here, after the big project. That's it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it and you haven't yet, leave a like. You're missing out. It's a wonderful experience. So subscribing, it's even more wonderful. Warning, this gets emotional, but, but this moment right here, this, this spot, this land, re remember this forever because it's changing forever. Next episode. That's going to be it. Thanks for watching. This has been me, your boy Waddles. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Uh, yes, Burb. Yes, it, it has been done. Uh, the area has been cleared, the project is started, the temple will be here soon, okay? Please.